Okay, so fitting of the two-wheel drive kit from Synchro Gearboxes for the LT230. The kit's made up of two components, the machine component uh, and then a bearing. It's very straightforward. Um, so fitting is, is also quite straightforward. We need the centre differential out uh, of the LT230 um, and we need to strip that down to, to be able to get inside of it. So first job is to remove the bearing um, and then you'll have this series of um, bolts in front of you. So we need to undo those to get into the set centre differential and split it. So this is a stock centre differential, used one, straight out of the transfer box. separated like that. So we've got a ring here which we can discard um, and then we've got the centre differential components there. Um, this one's well used, you see there's no phosphorus bronze washers anymore. Um, so basically out of this side the way it's split is we've got the two cross pins, uh, the planetary gears and then there's a sun gear in the back there and a sun gear in the back here. So I'm going to strip these bits out um, and they should just pull out with the, either with a pry bar or um, you might be able to tap them with a copper hammer. Like so. so that's the, the planetary gears out and I'm left with two sun gears. I'm going to remove one of the sun gears. So remove both of them just to check the condition. And behind, behind the sun gear um, is a, a fibre washer like that. So from all of the components from inside the centre differential, we only want to keep one of the sun gears with its washer. From there, obviously, if you're rebuilding uh, the transfer box, you need to clean everything down. And then reassembly is you take the machine component, which you drop in there like so, and that just fits in, and that goes into the rear of the, so the longer side with the gears uh, of the main shaft. Um, the other sun gear goes back into the front with its washer, like so. And then we've got the bearing that we want to fit in this recess here. So we'll just open the bearing up and it will be loosely assembled like so. So you've got two outer races and then an inner ball race. And they literally go in there like that. So it's worth greasing up just for, um, just for ease really to help you assemble it all because the grease will keep it in. And that goes like so. And that was the case of that. Okay. So from there, the other half of the diff can go back on. Um, you must align, there'll be numbers stamped in two places and you must align those numbers, you can't have them offset. Um, so the sun gear's in there, bearings on there, that goes back on like so and then we're going to put in two of the bolts like that. Hold it together for us. So I've not done that particularly tight, just want it to hold it together at this stage. So there 
there to get that. And it's pulled it all into place. And now what we're gonna check on the inside in here, you can feel that um, sun gear. And what you wanna feel for is that there's no end float in the gear. So the gear, the sun gear isn't moving forwards or backwards. It wants to move freely, but it doesn't want to have any end float going like this. So mine's actually good. If that was, if there was excessive end float or there was no end float and it was very tight, then you need to adjust the thickness of this fibre washer here accordingly. So in this case, we've landed very lucky. It moves freely, but there's no end float. So from there, you want to put the remaining bolts in with Loctite and then torque them to spec, new bearing on, assemble everything else, and, and that should work perfectly fine.